So I'm out here to a job today at Connell's Point. Um, the customer's been experiencing uh, problems with his phone line for roughly how long now? Oh, more than a month. More than a month. Um, he had a Telstra tech come out here about a week ago. Yeah. And uh, look, the guy done a pretty good job. Graham was quite happy with him. He, he went uh, to all the different sockets in the house. He's gone under the house. He was here for about an hour and a half, Graham reckons. Um, and but they said in the end, oh, look, it's got to be an internal problem. Um, and then you need to get an ACMA technician to come out and take a look. So I've come out here today and I've disconnected the internal cables. I've tested the insulation resistance for the internal cables and they're testing fine. Um, they're perfect and it's only like probably about four metres, five metres from here to the next socket. And the other socket, as you can see, there's two cables there. That one's disconnected. So realistically, there's just a lead-in cable here that you can see, uh, which I'm connected to at the moment with my alligator clips, and uh, one internal cable. And the sockets are fine. As you can see, there's no corrosion or anything on the socket. Now, uh, this is Graham. He's the owner. And Graham, we uh, just uh, put the uh, Bedinsky, the phone, directly on the Telstra cable, and you could hear the crackling on the Telstra cable, couldn't you? Yes, I could. Yeah. So, um, this is uh, a Telstra issue. So, it could be an intermittent fault. So, maybe the fault had gone away because it wasn't all the time. So, the crackle wasn't there when I first listened to it. And then after about 30 seconds, a minute, the crackling started. And now, it's, uh, it's the crackling's on the line every time I turn the phone on now. So, this is directly in the Telstra leading cable. So, this is a Telstra issue. Okay, thank you.